But it te- I tell you what, Rowan, it seems to me from this impartiality session being run by this woman who's uh, on the Lydia Thorpe bandwagon, apparently by a tweet, uh, that the ABC actually wants journalists to be impartial on only just one question. Do you support Labor's voice or do you support Lydia Thorpe's much more radical demand for sovereignty first? That's really all exactly. the impartiality it wants. That is the impar- that's the two goalposts. You've got to work within those goalposts. I actually, um, I actually like Lydia Thorpe because she tells the truth of where all of this is heading. That is why they hate her. That is yeah. why the left are trying to silence her and, uh, and, and dismiss her. But she's actually telling the truth of where the agenda is. If you vote yes to the voice, you're voting for a treaty. You're voting for sovereignty of this nation to be ceded to a cohort of indigenous, so-called indigenous activists uh, in a big uh, new fancy building in Canberra. You are ceding sovereignty. You are ceding uh, your property rights. You are ceding your future income or a portion of it to an amorphous group known as the Indigenous Australians, who may or may not even be uh, Indigenous Australians. They are the activist class. That is what this is all about. Uh, And at least Lydia Thorpe tells the truth Whereas those who are pretending to support Correct. the voice who then say, oh, no, 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 there's no power involved, they are not telling you the truth. No wonder she upsets them. No wonder she upsets them. Rowan Dean, thank you so much.